Prime Minister Mark Rutter, and fellow leaders, it is indeed an honor to be with you today, in spirit at least, for this crucial summit. Adaptation is of the highest importance to the Republic of the Marshall Islands and to small islands and large ocean states worldwide. At just three meters above sea level, the Marshall Islands is a nation of coastlines surrounded on all sides by the ocean. Sea level rise, extreme tidal events, and changes in weather patterns threaten our territory, our infrastructure, and our safety. Climate change has profoundly affected our islands and the ocean which we rely on. People's livelihood at the community level, the surrounding ecosystem, and our fundamental rights are severely threatened. Last month, the Marshall Islands became the first small island developing state to submit its national adaptation communication to the UNFCCC. The government is fully committed to update and conclude its national adaptation plan. To my government, it is essentially a national survival plan because climate change threatens our basic rights and existence our economic, social, and cultural life, and habitability of our territory are all at risk like never before. People are at the center of this process. Developing this adaptation plan requires robust collaborations with all stakeholders. In particular, we are harmonizing traditional knowledge with the best available science to generate solutions based on our unique circumstances. However, without the support of the international community, all our adaptation efforts will be in vain. As we approach COP26, greater attention to the importance of adaptation and the financial commitments required to deliver climate protection are vitally needed and urgent. The Marshall Islands and other small island states place our faith in the Paris Agreement to deliver the emission reduction. The Paris Agreement must be the collective means to address the greatest test of humanity in adapting to climate change. In our joint efforts, we welcome discussion on our national adaptation communication with all partners and look forward to future engagements. This historic challenge is also an opportunity as we begin to rebuild from COVID-19. Now we have the chance to generate a recovery that leads to greater resilience, driving decarbonization and securing a healthier future. I wish to comment the Netherlands and the Global Center on Adaptation for convening this important summit, and we look forward to the outcome of the summit. Thank you so much, and kumol tada.